Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to convert your HTC One into the Google Play Edition. I do have a tutorial for the Developer Edition, you can find that in more info down below. And yeah, let's get started. So, I'll provide all the links here down in more info. So, you're going to need the Android Tools folder, which just includes the uh, Fastboot and ADB files that we are going to use. We're going to need this MID changer. If you've already changed it to when you're doing the developer edition, then you don't need to change it again. But just in case you, you need to, I'll show you how to do that as well. I'll provide that in a link below. And of course you need the ROM update utility for the HTC One Google edition. This is the 4.4.2 edition. This is where you can download it. This will be in the more info down below as well. So this is by Graphics NYC, New York City. Those are the CIDs and model IDs that you need to use and of course how to do it but I'll show you and if you just scroll down here where it says stock non-rooted 4.2.3362.17 something something let's just zoom in here and you just click that link it'll take a little while to download it is quite big but not as big as the uh, developer edition so let's get started once you download the bug files you just put them all on your desktop or wherever you can access them easily so what we're going to do is just right click on Android Tools and oops, no, open, open the Android Tools folder and then hold shift and right click. This will give you this uh, different sort of, uh, let me just loosen up this so it can bend more easily. So you're going to get this open command window here, just click on that to move this to the center. Now what you're going to want to do is boot your phone into the bootloader mode. So this is what you're going to do, zoom out, okay, so power off your phone, just like that, okay, yes, it's already done, and you just want to hold power and the volume down, just until it goes into this, I've already converted it, so what it should have is you should have an unlock bootloader s off and we'll get to all this but it should be white instead now what you want to do is you also want to have a custom recovery on I recommend TWRP so we're just going to reboot go to the recovery down here hit power all right now as it's booting into the recovery we'll just plug the USB into our phone and into the computer. As you could hear, it made a noise. Just go over to advanced and then ADB sideload and just swipe that. Now, with your phone in sideload mode, all you have to do is type in ADB sideload and you just want to drag this over here and go back with the MID change 101. What you have to do is just zoom a little bit. What we have to do is just drag this onto the command window and we'll put the uh, whole file name there. Hit enter and you should see it run the server and it's done. So it should get up this aroma installer and I'll go through all this. So it just says welcome, you're about to change your MID, I agree. Next, that's what you want to choose. It should be this one, the HTC AT&T developer in Google Play. Oops, this one, the PN zero seven one two thousand. You just want to hit next after that. Now uh, you're ready to install. Install now. So this will be very quick. And then next, finish. Okay, cool. Now, just hold the power down and volume again to get into the bootloader. Alright, so what I did was just unplug the cable with this, and then I just held it there for 15 seconds. Ooh, okay. So you just plug it back in, and this is what we have to do next in the bootloader. So make sure it's in the fast boot mode. It turns red. Focus. It says fast with USB. And we'll just lay that down a little bit. Oh, right. there. And then type in fast boot. 
OEM write CID zoom in like that and we need to type in GOGL 001 that should equal 8 characters 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 nice, just hit enter and it would verify it and all that so now it has the proper CID for the Google Play uh, ROM or oh, ROM update utility I should say so now what you want to do next is type in fastboot OEM reboot RUU in capitals, just the RUU as you can see. Now your phone should reboot into the silver HTC logo. Now what you need to type in is fastboot uh, flash zip and then as we did before just drag it in and hit enter. And we just let the computer do its stuff. This might take a while, it's sending a zip, pushing a zip file up to your phone, which is 500 megabytes approximately. Which isn't bad considering uh, the other one is over a gig, which is good. Here we are. Oh, okay, so this is what you're supposed to get, a failed remote uh, 70 hboot pre-update, please flash again immediately, flash image. So it should be back at this uh, silver HTC logo there, and my camera's running on fumes, but let's type it again quick, uh, flash zip, so you just got to type in the exact same command and drag in the zip again, and just flash it like that. So the battery doesn't die. Come on. Yes, yeah, so this bit takes a while, but that's expected. Well, that was weird. As soon as I stopped recording, it started going fast. Well, all the little parts in. So this is just flashing all the indi individual parts, and we're up nearly up the end now. Come on, please. Awesome. So now you may find it stuck on this like little one bar there. All you have to do is type in fast boot, reboot. Ta-da! Now that was was easy as that converting your phone to a Google uh, Google edition. It's so hot in here. <laughs> Ooh, sweating. So that it took no time at all, almost apart from all the downloads. And it's very easy to do. Oh, yeah. I'll put all the links down in the more info. We'll just. See what it does. It's gonna get this the new Nexus animation. You will not believe what people have to go through to get a replacement battery. This is the old one. I'm now charging it through a cord, like over here. Alright. It's got plastic that is like weapons grade plastic. It's ridiculous. Look at this. It, it hurts when you touch it, and my scissors almost broke. Mm. It's Sony bullshit everywhere. I hate it. But enough of that. Now, after it takes a while booting up, but now it should um, have all been loaded up. So all you have to do is just select your language, search it for Wi-Fi, connect it to your Wi-Fi. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, once we got all this set up, all the details done, you can now see it's running pure stock Android as if it were a Google edition HTC One if you bought from the internet. So we can just scroll down to About Phone and we're on 4.4.2 with. Whoa! Whoa! Doesn't it spin? I forgot. Whoa! Alright, so we do have Angel Kit Kat, Donut, Cupcake, Froyo, Eclair, Ice Cream Sandwich, Where's Jelly Bean? Oh, Honeycomb. Uh, you could play with this for a couple of seconds and get bored. And that's it. That is it. There's nothing more to say or do. Choose the maps, okay. So this is just a normal device. You'll get updates from Google. 
Although there's not a fast as uh, Nexus devices, you will get them in a couple of days or weeks. You know, depends. But there you go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. If you, uh, if this has helped you, feel free to leave a like down below, and also subscribe if you'd like to see more. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.